Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Chef Clark and F.A. Apache. This is uh, an intriguing fight in the cruiserweight division. We don't get a ton of uh, of, of interesting fights in the cruiserweight division. I, I like both these fighters, so I'm looking forward to getting into this. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, uh, all forms of social media. Uh, this is my brain. Um, sorry. Uh also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the uh, best gambling advice. Get the best boxing advice. To get the lock of the week, which I'm going to release shortly. Uh, the lock of the week will be out uh, in just a few minutes to all the Patreons. You also, get the updated prop bets. You get Ask the Bookie Anything. You can request a video. There are a ton of perks that you get for just $5 a month. So, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, also, subscribe to Other Town Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. This intriguing fight. Um, both guys are built similarly. Both guys have don't fight really that much different, although there are some discrepancies. Yeah, Chef Clark and F.A. Apache both came in as highly talented prospects. Apache did not work out. As they had hoped, uh, we're going to find out about Chef Clark 907 knockouts. He's short, stocky, come forward, pressure fighter, stays behind a high guard, can a little bit of mobility, a little bit of flexibility, a little mobility, flexibility, can get in a little bit. He doesn't slip much, but he ducks shots, ducks shots. He has a, a, a pushing jab that he can use to get in. Like I said, he's short, but he, he, he has some ability to get in. He's got good speed. He's got pretty good athleticism. Uh, for a guy at size built like that, he works uh, works on the inside really well, really well. Clean shots, short, clean, crisp shots on the uppercut. Like I said, he's got a powerful jab, really good uppercut, uh, but he's straight. He's straight. He said there's not a lot of slip to me. He's going to eat shots, and FA can punch, so that's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, good power, good skills on the inside. He's a good fighter on the inside. This is a fighter I, I like quite a bit. Um, good uppercuts on the inside, real crisp, good, clean uppercuts on the inside. He's physically strong as a mule, and that's going to be a problem for F.A. Uh, he's freakishly strong. Freakishly strong, good athlete, has pretty quick feet, has a little bit of bounce, a little bit of bounce, uh, but his feet do get sloppy. So he's a good athlete who hasn't mastered his footwork yet. You know, there's a lot that he can improve on, but he's a good canvas He's a good blank canvas with what he can do on the inside and his power and his strength and, you know, being a decent athlete for that size. There's a lot to like about Chef Clark. I, I think this is a, a high-grade prospect. Uh, F.A. Apache is also a pretty good fighter, and I, I like F.A. Apache. I, I think he's similar in many ways to Clark. I just don't think he's nearly as good as Clark. And you can see that he struggled when he when he, uh, when he fought Adrian Taylor. You can tell he struggles with better athletes. He fights a good athlete at, at the cruiserweight division. He's, he's too slow. And I think that's going to be the issue with Clark. He's a slow, stationary fighter, also 5'11". So short for the weight class, but it's not going to matter because they're the same size. Good power, throws shots hard. He commits to his shot. Um, like I said, he's not a tremendous athlete. He's not very quick. He shells up. It's a little sloppy with his jab. He doesn't bring it back. You can go over it. You can counter it. You can do a lot with him. Um, you can hit him. He stays in front of you, and he's easy to hit. But he's got good power, and he's going to stay in front of you too. He's not a big volume guy. He's selective with his shots, but he throws things hard. He commits to them. He's accurate with his shots to a degree. Uh, when, he, when he throws a shot, he commits to it. Um, <coughs> he's slow and a bit mechanical. And I think the lack of athleticism and the difference in speed um, is going to be the difference in this fight. Also, Clark's a, a much better fighter on the inside. Um, he can get pushed back and walk down, too. That's what I was saying. Clark is physically strong as a mule. He's, like, freakishly strong. Um, and F.A., you can push him backwards. You can, you can make him go backwards. And he's not very good at going backwards. He's good at standing in and coming forward. You can make him go backwards, which you can. You can have your way with him. So I see this as a very, very difficult fight 
to score for FA. Like, I, I don't see much of a path for FA. I, I think he's good. I don't think FA is a bad fighter. And I actually think the odds are a little too wide on this fight, even though I think Clark's definitely going to win. Like, they should not make – it's disrespectful to make FA, who is a good fighter, this wide of, of a dog. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the book. Let's take a look at the line, I mean. Chef Clark, minus 1,000. It's way too wide. He, I mean, um, it's a 10-to-1 favorite. And I probably see the 5 and a half to one underdog. It's too wide, man. But I still think Clark's going to win. It's just disrespectful. Uh, Clark's going to win. I like Clark by, probably by stoppage, too. They don't have the props here, so just join the Patreon. When the props drop, come back. We'll look at the props. We'll take a look at the props. But I just think Chef Clark is way too good on the inside. He's physically strong. He's too much of an athlete. There's too much natural ability. And then just not the natural ability and the speed advantage that he has. He's also very good on the inside. So I, I think Clark wins. I, I think he wins by stoppage. But I think this is a fun fight. I think this is a competitive fight to a degree. I just think – Clark wins it, and he probably stops him. Uh, so I would, I, I would be comfortable with a two times bet on this. It, you know, obviously that would only, two hundred dollar bet in this case, right? So whatever your normal bet is, times it by two. Two hundred dollar bet is going to make you twenty bucks. But this is a great bet to add to a parlay. I really like if you can add a fight to a parlay. This can help bring down the odds a little bit. Uh, if you want a standalone bet, Clark by stoppage. Let's take a look at that when, when, the, when the props drop. Let's see what the odds on Clark by stoppage. If you're looking at minus three fifty. I think it's worth it. Um, but when, when those odds drop, let's take a look at what Clark by stoppage looks like. Because I think that, that, that'll that be an intriguing bet. They don't have it yet. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, we will advise you on that. Uh, but Clark on the money line is a great bet to add to any 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 parlay. Help bring down your odds. Um, and that's and that's a review. All right, y'all. Uh Remember, join. Uh, remember, smash the like button on the way out, please. Um, it is what is it? August 29th, twenty ninth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now. To-